I'm Dr. Bhana Priya, Senior Consultant Radiation Oncologist, Chennai. Cancer is nothing but uncontrolled growth of an abnormal cell. As you all know, cells are the building blocks of our human body. So every cell is born, they have to perform their function and after a certain period of a time, they have to die by a process called as apoptosis. Whereas in cancer, these cells, they do not die, these abnormal cells, they keep on multiplying rapidly, apoptosis fades and they form a cancerous first lump, which, is, which we also call it as tumor. Cancer is definitely not a communicable disease. It does not spread from one person to another person. It does not spread by touching or by coughing, sneezing, by hugging, by kissing or eating in the same plate. Cancer patients need a lot of physical, emotional and psychological support. So as attenders, you don't have to worry about whether it, the disease will spread and come to us. Cancer is so unique that the chances of cure rate depends upon certain factors like number one, uh, stage of the disease, number two, tumor biology, number three, location of the disease, uh, number four, general condition of the patients like whether there is any coexisting diseases like diabetes, hypertension, cardiac problems or renal problems. Uh, so if the disease is detected at an early stage, the chances of cure rate is as high as 80 to, 80 to 100 percentage with the recent medical advancements. Unfortunately, if the cancer is detected at a very late stage as in stage 4, um, the chances of cure rate is diminished but at the same time we can prolong the life with a good quality of life by controlling the symptoms. Causes of cancer, if you ask me, I would like to divide it into two broad classifications, avoidable and unavoidable. So unavoidable is aging itself is a risk factor, which we cannot avoid. Number two, genetic. Number three, familial inheritances of certain cancers. Uh, avoidable causes, I would like to give more importance to this because literature says 75 to 80 percent of the cancers that is occurring now is due to our lifestyle habits so if we change and if, if you are aware of the risk factors and if we take a honest attempt to change these risk factors definitely we can reduce this 75 to 80 percent of the cancer so this risk factors again i would like to divide into five headings number one is diet the food which we eat so try to eat a healthy food, food that is rich in fruits and vegetables, millets, plenty of fluids and so on. Number two is physical activity. So sedentary lifestyle, lack of exercises, you know, leads to obesity, a lot of, not only cancer, a lot of cardiac problems, neurological deficits, obesity, hormonal disturbances, infertility and so on. Number three is uh, habits. Um, tobacco in any form is dangerous, alcohol and so on. So try to put a full stop to these habits. Number four is exposure to infectious agents like human papilloma virus, HIV and so on. Number five, exposure to chemicals and ionizing radiation, maybe occupational hazards and so on. Yes, if your trusting relative like sisters, siblings and parents have cancer, there is an increased risk of cancer by 1.5 to 2 fold. If you have multiple family members affected with cancer, the risk further increases. So there is a high likely uh, of a chance of uh, running mutation in the family like a mutation in BRCA1, BRCA2, P10 or P53 genes. So it would be better if uh, even though you are normal but have a strong family history of cancer, better consult an oncologist and get yourself uh, screened 
uh, with the genetic test or with the certain screening procedures like colonoscopy as required. Radiation therapy is like uh, doing surgery without a knife. So it is a pain free procedure. Uh, here patient is made to lie on a couch under a special machine by name Lever Accelerator. This machine produces X-rays and hit only the tumor, hit precisely the target alone. So um, rather than causing pain, this radiation treatment helps in relieving severe pain caused by cancer. Of course, 100% no. A patient treated with radiation treatment does not become radioactive. The radiation given here is generally absorbed by the cancer cells and it is not emitted back. So, the radiation patients once immediately radiation is over, they can easily mingle with their family members, their children or even if they have a pregnant woman in their family, they can easily mingle. They are not radioactive. I thank Mr. Nikhil Raghavan for giving me this opportunity to address all of you guys through this interview. Uh, I hope this was useful. Uh, I wish you all a happy and healthy life. Stay home and be safe.